everybody. Today I want to talk about using your New Line interactive display with the Zoom video conferencing solution. So if you want to run a video conference because you have people that are outside of the classroom or you have kids that are at home, you have um, partners and business members that are working from home right now or working from other locations, Zoom is a great video conferencing solution because it has a lot of features. So I'm going to speak to this in a, for a distance learning environment specifically, but it can be used in all of those different cases. I like Zoom because it's pretty robust. So whether you are plugging in your own device, like a Windows laptop or a MacBook or a Chromebook, or you're running the onboard PC like I am in the back here, Zoom will work with anything. So it's a perfect solution. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Zoom, and I'm going to start a new meeting just like you normally would. Now, if you're running an external laptop and it has a camera, you can actually place that laptop somewhere in front of you, and your camera feed will be picked up by the display. So your students will be able to see you on their side of the screen. If you have an external camera, you can also plug that in directly to the front to these USB ports here, and you can run it through the panel itself using that onboard PC. So you do have those two options to get the camera feed to make your lessons a little bit more engaging or your presentation. Now, once I open up Zoom, you'll notice it looks very familiar. It looks identically on, you know, like a Windows 10 PC. Once I open this up, I'm going to hit my share screen button here, and I'm going to get a few options. One of the things I love about Zoom is it's got its own internal whiteboard that's built in. So if I need to write instructions or if I need to take meeting notes, I can do that directly in this whiteboard. It gives me the annotation tools to go ahead and freehand draw. Now, what I want to do is I want to share my screen with whoever's on the other end, in this case, my students who are sitting at home. You have a couple of different options. You can share everything on the screen, or you can share a specific window. Keep in mind, if you have something sensitive open, like your emails or maybe grade books, you want to be cautious and cognizant of what you are sharing. I'm going to go ahead and share my entire screen. I'm going to hit share here. I don't have anything sensitive right now. So I know I'm sharing because, for one, Zoom tells me, hey, you are sharing your screen right up here. Everything within this green rectangle that goes all the way around my display is now being broadcast to the other end. Again, if you have that camera plugged in, not only are your students seeing all of this, they are also seeing you in front of the board simultaneously. So once I am screen sharing, again, I love Zoom because it's really robust. You have a lot of options. If I tap that green you are sharing link, I have my toolbar that pops up here. Let's say I need to be able to annotate on something. I have pulled up Google Maps, for example. I'm going to tap my screen sharing, and I'm going to just hit this annotate button. Over here, I can format to different colors. So here I am in California, for example. And you can see I can write and annotate freely on the screen. Any annotations that I do are actually being transmitted to my audience at the same time. I can save these annotations as well. It will save as an image with your Zoom files. I can put in text, and I also have these cool little stamps and spotlights. So if I want to highlight something specific, I can do that as well. Now, another cool feature of Zoom is you do have some security options. So I'm going to tap that UR screen sharing link again. I'm going to come up here to security. I can lock my meeting, meaning nobody else can enter. So I don't have to deal with outside interference, somebody trying to get in that's not supposed to be there. I can enable a waiting room. That means that if somebody tries to enter my meeting, they have the link. I can actually accept or decline their invitation to come in. The other cool part of this is you can allow participants to do things. So if I want my students to be able to chat freely with me, they can. They can send that to each other or everybody. If I want them to be able to share their own screens, I can select that and they can do that. If I want to rename them, if I want them to rename themselves or unmute themselves so they can talk to me, those options there. And I can also allow them to annotate on shared content. As I'm sharing this, if I want to call on somebody and have them add their own annotations, they can actually do that from their end. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is if I hit this more button, I can record my meeting. So I can actually record all of my lessons as I'm doing them and then send them out via email or upload them to Google Drive. I can also disable participant annotations, which is going to be really important, right? You don't want people disrupting your lesson time, your instruction. So you can actually allow them to not annotate on the screen. Then there's also the option of showing the names of your annotators meaning if you want to call on somebody, once they write on the screen, a little bubble will pop up and it'll tell you who that is that's participating with you. So as you can see, Zoom actually has a lot of different features that are going to be super useful for distance learning. Once I am done, I can hit stop share, I can exit my meeting, and we are good to go.